Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Superpower User. My name is Stanley and today I want to talk about the best way to back up your NAS up to the cloud for only $10 a month. The NAS that I'm using right now is the QNAP TVS882 ST3. Uh, this is an 8 bay NAS designed for 2.5 inch SSDs. The SSDs that I'm using are 2 terabytes each, so you can imagine space comes at a premium. That's partly why I made the justification to use RAID 5 as opposed to the recommended RAID 6 configuration. Um, and part of the justification is to use a very good cloud backup to back up all the data just in case the NAS were to die or the file system were to get, ever get corrupted. So which cloud backup system or company should you go for? Now, let's talk about that. I have three requirements for this cloud backup service. The first one is that it had to be cheap. I have approximately six terabytes worth of data that I wanted to back up to the cloud and I wanted to do it as cheaply as possible with either a unlimited service or a service that was only a few dollars or up to $10 a month. The second requirement is that it had to be standalone, meaning I didn't want a computer to turn on every single time I wanted to do this backup. So it had to be running on the NAS itself. The third requirement is that it has to be automatic. So I wanted to be able to back up every time the NAS is turning on, or I didn't want to go in and have to push a button to be able to back up every single time. So I looked at all of the different serv cloud services, everything from Microsoft Azure to Google to Amazon S3, Glacier uh, to Backblaze, Carbonite, all of them. And basically to fit, the only service that fit my requirements is CrashPlan. And you might be thinking, wait a minute, CrashPlan is, has been discontinued for the last two years, right? Well. Their personal consumer side has you know, discontinued and they've pivoted to enterprise and commercial side. But if you register in a commercial account or a small business account, then it works just fine. So I'll show you how to do that and I'll show you how to get crash plan for small business up and running on your QNAP NAS. So let's take a look at that. All you need to do is to navigate to crash plan for small business website and you can either start a free trial or you can get started for just $10 per, de per device for unlimited backup. And if you hit get started, you can register your account, you can choose your business size. For me, I'm a one man team uh, for YouTube and you know business name, you could type in whatever business name you've got, phone number, postal code, you know, hit next and enter your account information and the payment information and then your account's created. So with an account, uh, now all you need to do is head over to your QNAP QTS you know, page here. So basically what we're gonna be doing is installing Linux onto the QNAP NAS and then installing CrashPlan onto the Linux virtualized environment and connecting through the files that way. So the first thing what we'll need to do is go to the App Center and go down to Utilities and find Linux Station. So we'll click to install. It'll first download and then install. Once finished, it'll pop up on your desktop and you can click to start and you'll be given three options. Uh, you can either install Ubuntu 16.04 uh, or 18.04. There's also a Chinese version of Linux that we'll be ignoring. So I'm going to go ahead and install 18.04. And the installation is very simple. It's going to go out to the server, pull that image of Linux, download it, and install it with just one click. So I'll fast forward through this and come back when the install is done. And there you go. Now Ubuntu 18.4 is now installed. You've got your display settings, your network settings, your optical drive settings, 
um, and you, know, you can make those changes, but we have, first what we need to do is enable remote desktop, and then you have a URL that you follow, so you click that, and it brings you over to this page here, where you click and log in. It's the same password as the QNAP admin password, or the password that you use and account that you use to log into your QNAP QTS. So you sign in and it loads, loads, <laughs> okay, and there you go. Now that you've logged into the Ubuntu Linux, uh, you'll be greeted with the what's new page and you, know, you can dismiss it by just hitting next, 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 or if you wish, you can set up for the live patch, which I'm just gonna go, whoops, which I'm just gonna go ahead and do right now. You don't have to do this, but whatever. And then, you know, you hit next, next, done. All right, now, let's see. The first thing you need to do is to go to the browser and then what you need to do is, ooh, come on, there you go. Uh, go to crashplan.com and you need to sign in to the account that you created a little bit earlier. So username or email, password, sure, why not? And then you go to, this is, this is your, uh, this, so this is basically your control panel, right? And then you can go to the left side here, app downloads, and you can download the newest version of Crash Plan for Linux. So Crash Plan 6.9.4 is the current version at this time of recording. So hit that, download to device. And it'll download to the QNAP NAS. Let's take a look at where that is. So it's now down, done downloading, so I can close that out. Double click and open. We'll drag this to the desktop. Close this out, close this out. All you need to do is open up this file, right click, open in terminal. All you need to do is type in sudo.install.sh your password, and then it says press enter to continue with installation. Uh, would you like to install it? Yes. After uh, this done, additional space will be used. Yes. What parent directory do you want to install to? Hit enter. This, this does not exist yet. Create, yes. Do you want to execute to? Enter. Enter. Uh, create, yes. Oops. Shoot. Well, okay, yes. And basically just keep on sending yes. So is that all correct? Sure, why not? And then it'll download, uh, it'll install, and it'll run. So Java installed. Press enter to complete. Would you like to start? Sure. And then here you go. Crash plan is now installed on your system. Log into your account. Continue. Type in your password.
And for me, I'm actually replacing an existing device because I've already backed up in the past, but you can add a new device if it's the first time you're doing this. And then uh, again, replacing is a three-step process. This won't apply to you at all. Um, for me, I am continuing to replace. Select files. Actually, I, I don't want Now, so you can hit manage files and this is where you'll select which files you want to back up. To navigate to this, to navigate to your share, you know, you have, um, you got to navigate to the desktop. So here you go. So you got Ubuntu, root, home, admin, desktop. And this desktop right here, you want to go to the NAS folder, which is essentially this folder right here. And this folder right here has all your shares and all your, your files inside your shares. So we go to NAS folder and then your share folder, and then you select everything that you want to back up. And basically once you click it, it'll be backed up to crash plan. Whatever you don't click won't be. So you hit save and everything it'll, it'll populate right here. Um, you can also change your settings. So, you know, you can change the name of your device, all these different things. Uh, let's, we, we can call this TVS A82 ST3. You can make all the other changes to usage, destination. We're, cra we're, you know, we're syncing with the Crash Plan Pro Online Cloud. You can make changes to your network, your security. Um, and then your backups out. So basically how often you want to back up. Uh, for me, it's always, always to run. Um, anyway, yeah, so basically you could play around with it, mess around and make, make settings, change, change the settings to however you want your, your crash pad to run. But basically that's it. You've got crash plan running on Linux and Linux will now run every time you start up your system. So you can reset or restart your QNAP NAS and Linux station will start as soon as your NAS starts up. It'll start up Ubuntu. And once Ubuntu starts up, Crash Plan, Code 42 Crash Plan automatically starts up in that virtualized you know, environment. You don't have to double click anything. You don't have to tell it to start it'll start up automatically. And one way to double check is if you go to crashplan.com and you log in and you can see on your dashboard, you'll, you'll see your users, which ones are active. You can see uh, how much you've backed up and how much uh, basically, come on, and your history, your device names, all that information you can see from the Crash Plan website. So it's really nice to be able to keep tabs on it. And that way you don't have to navigate through Linux and you know see it that way. You can see it from the Crash Plan server side and you could double check to see if everything is running perfectly fine. So anyway. That basically wraps up how to install Crash Plan and set up Crash Plan on your QDAP NAS so that it's backing up to the cloud. If you, found, if you found this video useful, make sure to hit that like button and perhaps consider subscribing for future videos if this was interesting to you. Anyway, we'll see you in the next one.